Breakdance 2.6 is here. It includes several bug fixes, tweaks, and improvements, but the key features are gonna make working with buttons and code in Breakdance a lot easier. This is Elijah from the Breakdance team. Let's take a look at what's new in Breakdance 2.6. Previously in Breakdance, buttons had two global preset options. When you create a button, you can go to the Design tab, Button, and choose from Primary or Secondary. And these preset styles are synchronized globally. So you can see we have a few buttons here using the preset styles. If we go into Global Settings, Buttons, and Primary, we can make a tweak here, such as changing the background color, and it will affect all buttons that use that preset. The same is true for the secondary style. But sometimes you need more than two button styles to use across your site. In Breakdance 2.6, you can now create an unlimited number of custom button presets. To use a custom preset, select a button, then go to Custom under Button Style in the Design tab, choose Preset, and then choose your preset from the dropdown. Here's our purple button preset that I previously created. If you don't have any presets, they're easy to create. So let's go over here to the global settings, buttons panel, and click presets, and let's add a new preset. We'll call this one new button, and then we can open the styles panel and tweak all of the styles for this button. To make it easier to follow along, let me go ahead and select that preset here on this button, and then we'll go back into global settings and start styling this preset. First, we want to set it to have the same size as our other buttons, so we'll just add that really quickly. Then we want to work through all of our other settings. For instance, we probably want to give it a background color. Let's do a pink button. Next up, let's jump to outline and turn that on. We'll set the color to base, which is down here in our global colors. For width, we'll set it to two pixels, which I believe is what the other buttons are using. We're gonna tweak the typography just a little bit. First of all, let's make sure the color is set to our base color. And then let's go into font size and set it to, I think 22 is what we used there, maybe 20. And 500 font weight. And then under advanced, let's set letter spacing to negative one. We're getting closer to matching our other buttons here. So let's close out typography. We'll set it to round. And now we have a button that matches the style of our other buttons, but has a different background. And if we want to tweak the preset, of course, all the buttons using this preset are going to follow along with any changes that we make. But let's keep it at pink for now using that global color eight. Now we have this new custom preset along with our primary, secondary, and the previously created custom presets to use on all of our buttons. So let's set this one back to secondary, and then let's swap this button over to our new preset. Click New Button, and now you can see the style is applied. If we want to apply the preset to a brand new button that's not already in the design, we just hit Command or Control A, type button, press Enter, drop it in, and it uses the primary style first. But if we go to our Design tab, go to the Button panel, and click Custom, Preset, we can now choose our custom button preset. And the beautiful part is that this doesn't only apply to individual buttons, in fact, it applies to the pricing table, fancy testimonial, icon box, and image box elements as well. For example, we have these pricing table elements. One is using the secondary button style, and one is actually using our new button preset. So if we go in here, and first of all, let's set this one to use our new button preset. Choose custom preset, and then choose our new button preset. And now if we make adjustments to that preset, such as changing the background color to say purple, even complex elements that support this feature, like the pricing table and fancy testimonial that have their own integrated buttons will respect the change. Plus you can have an unlimited number of custom button presets. This feature is now available in Breakdance 2.6. In Breakdance 2.6, we also gave the code editor a major upgrade. Let me drop in a code block here and I'll show you some of the enhancements. Let's start in the PHP and HTML editor. One of the first major things is that we now have support for Emmet. Emmet is a kind of shorthand syntax that allows you to quickly build HTML structures. So for instance, if I want to div, with a class of my-class, and inside that I want an unordered list with 10 li elements, I can put li star 10. I can then hit tab to expand that out into the HTML structure 
that I described. So this will save you a ton of time if you're writing much HTML inside of Breakdance. You'll also notice if I start to write some HTML here, we have HTML autocomplete. So let's write something like section and just hit enter once that's highlighted, and then we can go ahead and finish our section out. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We also now have line numbers and the ability to fold our code. So we can take the UL and we can fold it up to hide all of those LIs. We also have multi-cursor capabilities now, so I can put my cursor there on the last LI, hold command or control, and create multiple cursors and then make bulk edits all at once. And if we decide we wanna write some PHP, we're gonna see that we now have auto bracket closing. So let's just create a function, my function test. And when we open our bracket, the closing bracket is automatically created for us. Next, let's jump over into our CSS editor to see some of the changes there. Just like in HTML, we now have autocomplete, so we can do something like body and hit enter, and it's gonna complete that for us. We have bracket matching as well. We also have autocomplete for properties, so if we do something like background-c, we're gonna see background color in the list and can just choose that and hit enter to insert it. If we type in a color here, you'll also see that in our CSS editor, we now have a color picker, which makes it much easier to define your colors. And you may have noticed when we were typing background color, we also have emit abbreviations in CSS. So if we type B for instance, and then hit enter, we're gonna see the bottom property. If we type say BG, we're gonna hit enter and get the background property. So once you get familiar with that, it will really speed up the coding process for you when writing CSS inside of Breakdance. But that is not all. Let's go back to this background color property and we're gonna go ahead and add a variable, dash dash, and you'll see that we now get autocomplete that shows us a list of our global colors. So we can actually choose colors from our global palette when writing our CSS. We also have autocomplete for breakdance selectors. So if we start typing a class here, I have a class called tilt left and tilt right. So you can see here under the breakdance selector heading and the autocomplete, we have both of those classes available to us, which just makes it much easier to use these classes in your custom code without having to remember every single one. Let's go ahead and add a color here. And then let's remove this indention and let's say we have some CSS code, maybe we've pasted in from somewhere and we wanna make sure it's nicely formatted, we can go up here to our little brush icon and click it to automatically format all of our CSS. There's also a keyboard shortcut option which is displayed here as you hover over the button. Breakdance's design presets feature allows you to save and reuse styles for complex elements like sliders, testimonials, images, and more. For instance, I can click this image and if I go to the styles tab, I can see that my styles are coming from a preset, which I can then edit by clicking the edit button. And all the images using this preset will respect any changes I make over here. This makes it easy to maintain your design aesthetic without having to remember a bunch of individual settings. In Breakdance 2.6, we've made some major improvements to the design presets feature overall. First, we've improved the way design presets work for complex elements like image boxes and accordions. You can see here I have a styled image box and a styled advanced accordion. Let's say these are the same styles I want to use throughout my case studies page. So let me scroll down to my next case study, and you can see I have an advanced accordion and an image box, but the styles aren't quite right. Now I can click my advanced accordion, go to the styles tab and choose my design preset, which will apply the same styles that I'm using up here. I can do the same thing with my image box. Let's go ahead and pick our case study image box yellow style, and you can see that's applied. So now both of these sections have a consistent design. And if we edit our preset, let's go over here and go to container and align everything to the middle. You'll see that both image boxes reflect that change because they're both using this design preset. In addition to this improvement, if you go to the three dots in the menu and open design presets, you'll now see this history button. If you click history, you'll see a history of changes that you've made to your design presets. 
This makes editing design presets much safer since you can navigate forward and backward through the history of changes and easily reverse any changes that you end up not wanting. Breakdance 2.6 also includes some notable quality of life and performance improvements. Let's start by taking a look at the Dynamic Data dialog. To insert dynamic data in Breakdance, it's super easy. Just click the element, click the Dynamic Data icon for the field you want to insert the data in, and you'll be greeted with the Dynamic Data dialog. From here, you can browse the available data points and insert whatever you want. In Breakdance 2.6, however, when you open the Dynamic Data dialog, the search field is automatically focused, which means you can just start typing what you want. Let's say we want the featured image here. You'll also note that the first matching data point is already selected for us, so we can just hit Enter and insert our featured image. Let's repeat that a little bit faster for the post title. So let's select the element where we want to insert the post title, click the Dynamic Data button, search for Title, and hit Enter. This will save you a ton of time if you're inserting a lot of dynamic data in your designs. We also took measures to address a pretty common WordPress-specific issue, which is broken permalinks. Permalinks can become broken for a variety of reasons, often due to another plugin or some other change that's been made on your site. If there's something wrong with your permalinks and you go to edit something in Breakdance, it's going to show you this message. The new addition that we've added is the Auto Fix Permalinks button. If we click that, it's going to go ahead and fix your permalinks for you and then go ahead and open your Breakdance design. This saves you the trouble of having to go back into the WordPress admin panel, resave your permalinks, and then navigate back to what you were trying to edit. We've also made a few performance improvements across the entire Breakdance experience. We've implemented intelligent caching to reduce redundant operations, made sure that Breakdance isn't outputting any unneeded empty style sheets, optimized the rendering engine, and streamlined code execution. In Breakdance 2.6, we also improved compatibility with a couple of other plugins. First up is WP Codebox. If you work with code in Breakdance, you've probably seen the Send to Codebox button that's available in the builder. This will send your snippet to WP Codebox if you're using it on your site. We've extended this compatibility into the Breakdance Settings Custom Code area. Now, when you have header code or footer code, you can easily send it to Codebox converting it to a snippet. If we open Codebox, we will see our new snippet right here. We've also improved our compatibility with the popular calendar plugin, the Events Calendar. This improved compatibility ensures the styles are output correctly, even when using Breakdance's more performant, themeless mode. And finally, for our WooCommerce designers out there, we've improved the output of swatch styles from GetWoo plugins variation swatches for WooCommerce. These improvements will be visible on both the product and product archive pages. In Breakdance 2.6, it's easier than ever to claim exclusive discounts on premium WordPress products via our new Partner Discounts page. Here you can find deals on plugins like Analytics WP, WP Codebox, WPL Import, and Oxygen. And make sure to keep an eye on this page for new discounts as we secure them in the future. If you're building sites for clients and don't want this page to be displayed to them, we've provided an easy code snippet, which you can find in our documentation, to completely remove this page for the end users. If you want to see everything included in Breakdance 2.6, check out the release post to view the full change log.